What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now first off, let me just straight up say, Destiny for me over the past month or so has been seen less and less game time being played on my Xbox. There are many reasons for this but the main few are, first off me being a year one player and grinding the hell out of the game and doing basically everything there is to do over and over and over and over again does get boring and because of the amount of other games which are out now which are new and fresh and fun to play this equals out in me not playing Destiny that often anymore. I mean literally I have spent maybe 5 hours on this game over the past month where I used to be putting 5 to 10 hours per day. Now I know this video like many of my other Destiny videos as of late and many of everybody else's Destiny videos as of late will be seeing many comments left by people saying the game is dead and Bungie don't care about us and they only want our money etc etc etc. So let me give you guys my opinion on these comments left by these people. Well first off, let's answer the question of is destiny dead? Well that all depends on your definition of the word when used to describe a game millions still play. For sure the game is dead to many people who have grinded the hell out of it, spent many hours playing and have seemed to have moved on and found new games to grind on such as Fallout, Ark, Black Ops and so on. These people have nothing else to do in the game and have no choice but to either stay bored or play new games and to be honest it is like this right now for me. I am bored because there is nothing else to do but I personally would not use the word dead to describe destiny as dead is something that is unrevivable. I'd use the word dry. This game for me is super dry, I'm like a little duck sitting in the middle of a dried up pond waiting for Bungie to make it rain. As for sure, this game will storm again, there is no doubt about it. Whether that storm comes into play in the form of events or Destiny 2, I'm not sure. But I am sure, in my opinion though, this game is far from dead. For me, like I said, it's just a little dry at this present moment in time. Me at the minute, I'm swimming in lakes of Ark Survival Evolved, Black Ops 3 and soon to be Plants vs Zombies 2. So there's plenty of other games to play while we wait for Bungie to make it rain. Now moving on, many people more so than ever are saying Bungie do not care and are only after our money. While I can see where people are coming from as of late due to the microtransaction features etc etc. But me being a year one player like many other people, this was obvious to happen, but does it prove that Bungie care about money and nothing else? Of course it don't. People need to realise Bungie is a company seeking profits to grow, expand and inevitably become bigger and better. This company needs profits to pay its employees while developing bigger and better future games. It's what life is all about. I don't really expect kids to truly understand what I'm talking about, but it's something everybody does. Money makes the world go round and anywhere there is a profit to be made you better go there but obviously in the right manner. You don't want to be scamming people nor do you want it to backfire on you and your shit. In my opinion Bungie have not done anything wrong in terms of making profit. Sure many of you will say the first few DLCs were rip off and overpriced. I can't really disagree with that but I do feel they made up for their mistake with the Taken King and its release being bigger and better than ever. Sure many will say the way they released it was wrong and to be honest the Taken King did burn out fast. It was pretty big, it was massive actually but it did burn out fast. But for anybody who don't play the game 5-10 to 10 hours a day grinding the hell out of it, I'm pretty certain there is still plenty to do and achieve. To us players who grind these games, sure any size DLC will eventually burn out and that's what many of us year one players and people who grind have seen with the Taken King. But you gotta understand not everybody grinds games 5-10 to 10 hours a day. Sure mistakes were made with the Taken King and I think there will always be mistakes made with games. But don't forget game developers are just people. People seem to think they are like a matrix computer and should not get shit wrong and should be getting everything right. That ain't and won't ever be the case. Yes many people disagree with a lot of things in Destiny. Certainly these microtransactions are not everyone's favourite things but at least they're not forced on you. So far we haven't seen any microtransactions that benefit somebody to the point of them having an advantage. And as long as it stays that way, I'm okay with it. At the end of the day, you don't have to and ain't made to buy any of these microtransactions, so it doesn't really affect you. 
So to people saying Bungie don't care and are just money hungry, I'd say that's bullshit. Yes, they care about money. Yes, we all do. I mean, money is the fuel to the fire. And if your ass wants to keep warm, you need as much as possible. But that does not mean I, them, you don't care. I'm sure they are all working on something to get amazing with Destiny 2, which is what I care about most. And do you guys know why? Because the bigger and better the game is, the more videos I can make, meaning the more fuel I receive for my fire. But does this mean I don't care about you guys and my channel? Of course it don't. I love and respect every one of you guys who support me, and I understand completely I will be nowhere without you, but I still need that money to live. I'm 100% sure Bungie understand and know that they will be nowhere without us, the people who provide that fuel for their fire. So whether or not these events promised this year are great or not, we still can't in my opinion let that determine Bungie's overall goal of what they want for the future of Destiny. These events could be some sort of like content fillers while they work on a bigger and better project, that being Destiny 2. But guys, what you've just heard me rambling on is just my opinion on the matter. I'm certain you all have your own if you disagree with mine, which is absolutely epic. And I'd love to hear it down below in that comment section. But that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you could leave a like, I would appreciate the support. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.